Whether you're passing through or you plan on staying for a while, we welcome you to Discover Jamestown. everyone and welcome back to Discover Jamestown. I'm Tamla and I'm here with my brother Warren and today we're here at Meininger Park which doesn't seem to be really much excitement right now but you know. There's wind. Yes and that's actually really exciting today because we are gonna fly kite. And we're talking to a kite expert and actually the organizer of Kite Fest today so we're gonna put a kite in the sky so come join us. Hey, how are you today? Hey, pretty good. Good hey. to meet you. My name is Warren. Nice to meet you. All right, thanks for the hand up. <laughs> and hey, Tamar? I'm Tamla. Yep. Tamla? Okay, good to meet you. My name is Mike G, and uh, I'm just trying to kind of get my kite out, and I'm going to get it up here so I can make some adjustments to it. We heard that you were the kite expert here around Jamestown. Around Jamestown, I might be. <laughs> yeah, maybe not quite the big expert, but okay. around here, yes, we could say I'm the expert. Okay. We came here to learn as much as about kites as possible from you, so can well, you tell us? Yeah, I can. I'll tell you what. If you guys want to, you could help me put the kite up. So what we do, what I do, I usually have, um, I usually have stakes. Um, I usually use like 30 inch stakes, but today we're gonna use the tree. It's a lot easier to pull that stake out. You oh, know, we can just leave the stake right there. Yeah, I bet the tree <laughs> won't move at all either. <laughs> right. Kind of so, a natural angle. You wanna help me? Oh yes. Okay, wrap that around tree. Okay. Just like this? Yep, and you're gonna take that loop and pull it right through there. Okay. Okay, go ahead and hook that up. Oh, here. Take this one, hook it right in there. There you go, and this is not going to go anywhere. Okay. You know, for these straps, I like using like tubular nylon because they do wear a little bit, okay. and that way you've got some abrasion points right there. Okay. Um, you want to see some other stuff I use? Oh, yes, please. So, this is a, it's called a line grabber. And so, like, when we have our kite up and we need to make adjustments on the kite, we can actually Pull back on this. Get to go here. And we can tie that kite off with this. Okay. And I can actually put that in a carabiner if I have to. That's interesting. Used a lot of times. Oh yeah. <laughs> there you go, pull it off. And then I use a pulley. You don't have to, but you know, like say you're flying like six or seven kites like I do. I think I gotta empty out my whole truck and put them all in the air. <laughs> I use a pulley at the end of the day because it saves my hands. Oh yes. And we can use that too when we get done to go here. Perfect. And then the line, I keep them on little, these are called hoop spools. And we just put them on the spools to kind of keep them right. But when we're flying on an airplane, we just take them off and coil them up for the weight. You know, so we can compact everything in the bag with the Okay, you wanna go try flying it? Oh yes. Okay, let's check it out. super cool and fun. Thanks, yeah. yeah. Uh, one of the things that I have a question about is, uh, if there's more people, this would probably be more fun, as in Kite Fest. Uh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> this field, this field is uh, owned by the James Holland Park and Rec Department, and we work with the Park and Rec Department to host Kite Festival out here. Every year, it's the one week before Father's Day, and we have about 40 out-of-town guest flyers that come to our state. Like this year, we had flyers from six states. And they come here just to fly kites. The only reason they come to Jamestown is to fly kites. And now they're flying different kites than what we're seeing right now. Oh right? yeah, we, you know what guys, how much time you got? I can tell you about how many <laughs> kites there are. So I'll tell you the, the basic kites that you will see at Kite Fest Day. You're gonna see soft kites. This is a soft kite. A kite with a stick like the diamonds and the big triangles, those are deltas. And then you have figure kites that actually look like a figure, but they're still called kites. And then we have what we call banners. We, a lot of people will set up flags on the sides to kind of mark their camp, you know, and those are called banners. And then some people also have ground bouncers, which is like wind socks and spinny things that go on the ground. We call them ground bouncers. So there's a line laundry. We can hang stuff on the line. We call it line laundry. Oh, she's coming down a little bit. I got it. So, and then there's sport kites too. Uh, sport kite is a kite that has two or four lines. 
And then uh, we have like snake kites. Snake kites are really super long kites with super long tails. Um, just all kind of shaped kites. I mean, about anything you can imagine for kites, we, we, we have here. I think the biggest question is, how does somebody get started? How do we get involved with Kite Fest? You know, if you want, you, you come out to Kite Fest, you talk to anybody out here flying a kite, and they will sh tell you, they will probably ask you, well, what, what are you interested in? And they will send you in the right direction. You know, we've had kites out here, all sizes. We've had kites out here, 60 feet by 30 feet, 60 by 30 feet kites, tied off to a truck. Wow. And uh, you know, I have a windsock, that the opening is 40 feet high. And then we have people out here too with, with kites the size of a postage stamp. <laughs> so, I think that's more my speed line. Yeah. <laughs> well, Tamil and I are gonna have to come when this field yeah. is full and, and put up a few kites with you, Mike. I just wanted to try to get share it with everybody and I wanna get kites in people's hands. <laughs> you know, Because it's just a great family thing to do. Sure. You know, as long as your kite's flying decent, you're gonna, you're gonna have a good day. It's just good to come out and hang out. And you know the thing is, when you, if people come out here, don't just come for an hour, because as the wind changes, the kites change. You know, like some guys, it's okay, the wind gets too turbulent for this kite, they'll take it down, and they'll put up a different kite. Okay. You know, so there's just so much variety in the day, and there's just so much energy with the family and the kids, and all the banners and the little spin socks on the ground. It's just, it's just so much energy in the kite festival. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, you guys, you, you know how I run the pilot kite now. What do you, you guys want to try the big one? I want to see the big one, Mike. Unbelievable. We are again at Meidinger Park. Learn more about Kite Fest and uh, putting a kite in the sky, right, Tamala? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like you got it handled. If you want to put a kite in the sky or join Kite Fest, go to discoverjamestownnd.com and we'll see you out here in Meidinger Park. <laughs>